everyone, Michael Tiny Saul. It is Thursday, May 5th at 10.30 p.m. And this is Forex Trading Analysis for Friday, May 6th. 2011. Not going to go through the whole list because I'm not going to initiate any new trades on the video ahead of the uh, job reports, which are due out at 8.30 a.m. Eastern. And then Bernanke's talking, I read, at 9.23 a.m. right before the market opens. But we're going to manage this, the pound kiwi that the video is already in and then look at the majors okay so <clears throat> as far as this one is concerned we got the half off plus a hundred and now it looks like we're gonna more than likely stop out break even here not gonna adjust this I'm gonna let it play out because it's so close here and if it does turn then we still have a chance to look for our second target so right here uh, the only time we could have uh, moved the stops is when it got up to uh, 200 pips which it did but we didn't move the stops because uh, this looked like it could get some follow through to the upside, but it didn't. So stops a break even on this one. Now let's look at the majors. The euro just completely got trashed on Thursday at uh, what time? I believe 7.30 or whenever it was. The uh, They had the rate decision, I believe, for the Bank of England and the uh, the ECB, the European Central Bank. Just got totally annihilated. Was was looking for this to pull in, as you've seen from the video, but got faked out a couple of times. And I uh, would have never wanted to be in ahead of those uh, numbers anyway. So this was a big candle to the downside. And after you get expansion like this, either the upside or the downside, I usually watch for digestion. So I'm not expecting much at a Friday session in the Euro, and it doesn't matter anyway, ahead of the non-farm payrolls and the job numbers, like I said, not looking to put on uh, a position anyway here. Here's the Aussie dollar. The Aussie dollar went through the middle counter line, which is the moving average, and now it's back above it. So this one may want to digest a little bit. The yen continued its downward movement, tagged the 62% retracement of this swing up, Okay, we were looking for an entry actually on Wednesday. It didn't come. And then Thursday, it formed this kind of wide-headed hammer. Maybe it's due for a bounce here, but there's no trigger here. Okay, and then here's the uh, Swissy. You can see the Doji finally led to a bounce. But like I said yesterday, I believe, how many of the Dojis didn't? Okay, so looking for this one to potentially test the middle line here of the Keltner, but there's no pattern right here that I want to jump on board. So I'm going to wait and see and move everything to uh, the Sunday night update, uh, which will give the outlook for the week and uh, especially Monday session. So that's it. Have a great trading day on Friday. Just managing this one trade that the video is in. Have a great weekend, and I will do the next update on Sunday evening.